Yeah, you know who it is. You know who it is. So what up 2K fans? You know who it is. If you don't, it's your boy Shake. And just a couple of quick topics. I feel like it's been a couple of days since I had a chance to sit down and actually talk to you guys about some things. And in fact, the last few talks that I've been able to give you guys have been mostly about badge hunting and things like that. So today, I kind of want to get back to my roots and kind of go back to talking just about a couple of things that are on my mind. And I'm going to try to address some of these, these topics or at least bring some of these things to the table on a weekly basis, at least once a week, you know, maybe touch on a few things. And if you guys have some things that you want me to talk about, definitely feel free to let me know in the comment section. But before we get started, huge shout out to my giveaway recipients. Everybody received their giveaways. Huge shout out to Gabriel Bell. He was my NBA 2K16 giveaway winner. Excited to see that he got his game and I think he got it like a day early as well. Sam Hinojosa, hope I said that correctly, NBA Live 16 giveaway winner. He also received his game, I think, a day early. And Edward Abascal, I hope I said that correctly, NBA Live 16 giveaway winner as well. And, you know, if you guys want me to do more giveaways, let me know in the comment section. I'm going to try to do giveaways for every game that I'm currently playing. And hopefully I can do a giveaway every single month. Maybe I'll do that from now on. Maybe we'll make it a big deal to do a giveaway at the end of every month. I can't say that I'm absolutely going to do that, but I'm definitely considering it. Also, huge shout out to my man Franchise Play. We did a huge podcast. So many other people on there. It was my man K Spade, uh, iPod King Carter, guys that come to mind. Check out that podcast. I'll leave a link in the description. We talk about a lot of things gaming related, sports related. And guess what? It's inspired me as well. I did a couple of quick podcasts on my channel as well, but I'm thinking about doing some, you know, some of my own podcasts. I want to get some of the other big dogs on and and try to bring some other perspectives on my channel as well. We'll be we'll, we'll do something through Google Play and kind of kick that out to you guys. And also, you know, some of you guys that are in the community, if you have questions, the one of the best things you can do is send me a voice message over PlayStation or PSN or over Xbox One. When I get a chance, I'll listen to the voice message and I'll answer your question in a video, you know? Rather than you guys just sending me a bunch of text messages, it'd be pretty cool to hear your voice. Just speak clearly, ask the question, and I'll try to add you into a video. Maybe we'll, we'll add it as part of an outro. In fact, if you want to be featured in some of my videos, send me a voice message. I used to tell people to do that all the time. If you want to be featured in the video, I used to love putting you guys in there. Just send me a voice message through Xbox or PlayStation. Keep in mind on Xbox, I typically get on my Xbox to relax. I play my Xbox right now is just as much as I play my PlayStation, but I use Xbox as a kind of a getaway, if that makes sense. You know, mostly just to play games that are solo games or one player games and I'm just playing by myself and, you know, playing some Assassin's Creed. And that brings me to another topic we're going to discuss real soon. But the main point of this video is to discuss a New Year's resolution and how you guys go about, you know, orchestrating your plans for the new year. And I'm, I want to kind of give you guys my strategy, not saying this is the perfect thing to do, but this is what I've been doing over my life and everything's working out and reflecting on it. Prior to using this strategy, I wasn't seeing that much success. And so I want to give that secret to you guys, or at least that strategy. My take on New Year's resolution is simple. Process over predictions. And to explain that, a lot of people make predictions. They say things like, I'm going to get straight A's in all my classes, even though most of y'all ain't thinking about class like that. But a lot of people make those kind of predictions and they don't really create a process. And instead of saying something like, I'm going to get straight A's for the rest of the year. Try saying things like, I'm going to study harder for the next three semesters or something like, I'm going to visit the library for an hour at least three times out of the week. If you make those subtle adjustments, the results will come. You don't have to make those predictions because those, those things will just come. Instead of saying you're going to lose 20 pounds in the next three months, how about you say something along the lines of, I'm going to spend one hour sessions four nights out of the week at the gym no matter what. If you strategize your improvements by setting a certain process, the results will come. You're going to lose the 20 pounds because you set a process. And I always reevaluate my process throughout that time. So like as I'm going to the gym four nights out of the week, I say, you know what, let's increase it to five nights out of the week. 
and let's increase it to an hour and a half at the gym. Maybe you start off at 30 minutes and then you take it up to an hour. But as you go, you increase the process. And then that way you're not let down if you don't reach a certain result. The idea is to set up a process. Don't give yourself a direct situation where you have to meet a certain requirement and if you fail, you feel like a failure. If you're a YouTube commentator and you wanna expand on your channel, you want your channel to get better, say things like, instead of saying, I'm gonna reach 10,000 subscribers in the next three months, say that I'm gonna upload five to six videos of what my subscribers want to see and I'm gonna increase my productivity level for the next three months. Say that and then write down the steps that you need to take in order for that to become a reality. Do not set predictions. Predictions make you feel like a failure. Create a process to where you can eventually meet and exceed your own resolution. Another thing that I like to do is I like to reevaluate myself every three to six months. Really it's every three months for me, but three to six months. What I like to do is make a list of five things, just five things that I feel that I can improve on. So instead of saying, yo, I'm the best at everything, I need to just look myself in the mirror, reevaluate myself and say, what are five things that I can do to improve myself? When I used to play basketball, my free throw was a problem at a time. I used to get to the rim all the time, but I couldn't make two free throws. So I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to improve my free throws. That was number one on my list. Then number two was, I'm going to improve my passing ability. And as you go along, you're going to make a list of five things. Maybe you need to get faster. Maybe you need to be stronger. And then you want to focus on your top three. The last two, if your top three, if you reach those goals really soon, really quickly, like, wow, your free throws are nailed. Now you want to move down to that fourth, that fourth item on that list and go right ahead. Make that list of five. Focus really hard on your top three. You can apply this to everything in life. I'm talking about school, relationships, everything you can think of, especially health. A lot of us are eating very unhealthily. You can apply that five step strategy. I do it all the time, every three months. Every three months I write down what are the top five things I can do to improve on my channel. Maybe it's get better thumbnails. Maybe it's become more relatable to my community. Maybe it's speak better. You know, maybe it's get better quality, things like that. Better, better equipment. These are the things that you need to put down on a list. Instead of running around and asking everybody else, you need to decide what you need to do to make yourself better. Last but not least, one other thing I wanted to chat with you guys about is walkthroughs. I've been really interested in doing some walkthroughs with you guys. And I figured I'd wait till I get to like 500,000 subscribers, then I can really introduce you guys into a whole nother side of what I do. As I already, already stated, on the Xbox One, I do a lot of walkthroughs. That's what I do the majority of, you know, of my gaming on the Xbox One. And right now I'm playing Assassin's Creed Black Flag, and I'm really excited about Freedom Cry, especially since I've been studying history and that's something that's really I'm, I'm really passionate about playing as you know Freedom Cry. I know it's a video game, but it kind of correlates to some of the knowledge that I've been pulling into my, my daily routine. So I'm, I'm like, man, I want to know if I, if I should post this on my channel. And I would love to, to, to do that for you guys. I know the game's already been out. It's been out for a long time. But it's just something I'm interested in, and I kind of want to know what you guys think about me doing some possible walkthroughs. Lots of new games are coming out, and I'd love to do some walkthroughs. I'm not sure if you guys want to see them. So I'm going to leave a poll in the in the description. You guys can vote on if whether or not you want to see me do some walkthroughs, if you want to see me do Black Flag, Freedom Cry, Assassin's Creed on this channel, things like that. Let me know. And last but not least, one of the big questions is... Shake, I can't seem to send you a top 10 clip. I'm following directions in your description, but I can't get it to you. I don't know what to do. And this is what I'm going to tell you guys. The reason why I need it uploaded to YouTube is so I can download it. I have to download the clip so this way I can use it in a top 10, in a top 10 video. But if you can't link me, like a lot of people have trouble linking me to their video. They're like, yo, I've uploaded it to YouTube, but how do I link it to you, Shake? Well, if you're on Twitter, use the hashtag ShakeTop10 on Twitter. I get a lot of tweets. If somebody watches my video and they like the video, which is what I want them to do, um, that like shows up on Twitter. And that's a good thing if you correlate those two websites. And it lets me know that people are watching the video. Um, but a lot of your basic tweets, if your top 10 clips are, are not coming in, I might not see them because they get they get piled under all the other tweets that I get. So use the hashtag ShakeTop10 on Twitter. Use that hashtag ShakeTop10 and I can just type that in and I can see who sent me all the clips throughout the last week. And this way I can watch all your videos and you know determine if they're top 10 worthy. So I hope that helps. 
It's your boy Shake. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, man. Show your love. As always, thanks for watching. I couldn't make any of this possible if it wasn't for you guys, you viewers. You guys have been rocking with your boy for a long time. I really appreciate it, man. You guys have changed my life forever, man. I've had so much fun doing this. I expect to be able to do this for a very long time. And I'm just getting started, man. I'm really excited about this channel and what I'm bringing to the table real soon. Thanks for showing your love. As always, smack that like tab to show your support. And I'll be back with some more gameplays for you guys. Lead Buckets. Oh, I lagged oh, down to fellas. Are they kicking it?